In this video, we're going to take a review of how we can find the least common multiple or least common denominator of several numbers using the prime factorization or a product of primes. When we want to find the least common denominator or least common multiple using this product of primes, we will use all factors with the highest exponents. So for example, if we are looking at 20 and 36 and we want to find the smallest number that's divisible by 20 and divisible by 36, we need to find their prime factorizations. So we start dividing by primes. 20 is divisible by 2, 10 times. 10 is divisible by 2, 5 times. 5 is divisible by 5, 1 time. So the prime factorization along the side then is 2 squared times 5. The 2 was there twice and the 5 was there once. Do the same thing with the 36. It's divisible by 2, 18 times, which is divisible by 2, 9 times, which is divisible by 3, 3 times, which is divisible by 3 once, which means I want to move down a little bit. I'm going to move that 2 times 5 down one line. So the prime factorization of 36, we see 2's there twice, 3's there twice. So to find the least common divisor or the least common multiple, sorry, not divisor, least common multiple, least common denominator, we take each factor. We see factors of 2, there were factors of 3, and there were factors of 5. But we're going to assign each factor of 2, 3, and 5. We're going to assign the highest exponent. The highest exponent we see on a 2 is squared. The highest exponent we see on a 3 is squared. And 5 only has an exponent of 1. So the least common denominator, least common multiple of all of this is whatever 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 is. Well, 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9, 4 times 9 is 36, and 36 times 5 is 180. The least common denominator of 20 and 36 is 180. How about 18, 54, and 81? Doing much the same process to these, finding the common or the prime factorization of 18, dividing by 2, 9 times, divided by 3, 3 times, divided by 3 once. Skip a line here, we've got 2 times 3 squared is 18. 54, divided by 2, 27 times, divided by 3, 9 times, divided by 3, 3 times, divided by 3 once. That's 2 times 3 cubed. 81, is divisible by the prime number 3, 27 times, which is divisible by 3, 9 times, which is divisible by 3, 3 times, which is divisible by 3 once. So when we go through and find the prime factorizations of each number, we have 2 times 3 squared, 2 times 3 cubed, and 3 to the fourth. The least common denominator or least common multiple then of each of these numbers it's going to use all factors. We saw factors of 2 and 3. And then we'll use the highest exponent. On 2, they both had an exponent of 1. On 3, though, the highest exponent was 4. So the least common denominator is going to be whatever 2 times 3 to the 4th is. 3 to the 4th, doing exponents first, order of operations, don't lose track of that, is 81. And then finally, 2 times 81 is 162. The least common denominator or least common multiple is 162. We found that by using all factors with highest exponents.